another common doubts among the neat ss candidates dm versus dnb superficiality or drnb superficiality some info related to that first these kind of doubts when it comes first if a student rank is not so good to take into a dm where his priorities are met because most of the situation student prefers for dm traditionally and the second one is the location sometimes a student want to stay in a particular location where dm might not be there but drnb or dnb ss seat might be there so during this situation a student might have the doubt whether to go for dm in some other locality or to select dnb super specialty in his locality of choice first in super specialty if the dnb super specialty institute is good most of the time it will be a uh, hospital more of corporate kind of setup where drnb nephro might be available compared to dm in both you are going to work for 3 years you are going to get the exposure procedure you are going to do post 3 years there are no much difference with respect to the clinical practice traditionally mbbs md dm more uh, people might be aware dr and b nowadays even general public are also getting aware with respect to dr and b superficiality so 3 years almost the same post uh, your superficiality in your practice no cross difference might be there if the center from where that you have did if it is giving the adequate exposure okay then coming to what are all the few advantages of uh, dnb super specialty or drnb first you might get oriented towards this corporate kind of patient setup let us take an example uh, hospital like gangaram in new delhi or ilbs in studio billier sciences in vasant kunj new delhi this kind of private centers even medanta new delhi this kind of private centers the doctor might get oriented towards how to handle the corporate kind of working environment compared to the government hospital setup where the work culture is somewhat different that you will get the exposure second most of the places for dnbss there might not be any bond <coughs> most of the places except in like institutes like army college where there might be bond for dnb also but most of the places most there won't be any bond for drnb super specialty third with respect to the stipend stipend is almost always good it is as similar to a central government institute where you are getting a dm kind of salary if the institute is delivering the whatever mentioned in the document it will be as similar to the good central government dm salary and in dnb ss compared to many states the stipend is better if we selected drnb super specialty three advantage fourth only one thesis might be there so these are all the advantages but always if there are advantages of course there will be disadvantages also what is the major disadvantage that many of my friends or my seniors who completed drnb what they felt or during their 3 years while completing the exam your final exam final dnb super specialty while passing out you will be giving the practical exam in some other center not in the place where you worked for example you might have worked in a particular hospital let us take a gangaram or ilbs or whatever hospital is in new delhi or apollo hospital in chennai you might have worked for 3 years the environment the hod consultant might be knowing you in dnb ss your final exam is going to be in some other institute where you have no idea about where you are going to give the exam 
it's a practical problem if you are strong in theory and the subject knowledge yes you can easily pass through but one disadvantage is compared to dm i'm saying compared to dm this side dnb final exam as my friends and a few of my juniors and seniors whatever they experienced was that final practical will be somewhat difficult since you are going to handle the exam in a new environment where the consultant might not be knowing you you might not be knowing the patients this is one disadvantage and even this theory part first you have to complete the theory that exam will come then subsequently the waiting period is somewhat there this comes at the final part like after the third year you will find this as somewhat difficult compared to dm whereas in dm nephro let us take that uh, exam where you are going to give it in the same place where you worked for 3 years the consultant knows they are working in the place where they are going to keep the patient or even the patient themselves many of the patient might be your follow up so you might be knowing the background history final exam will be comparatively easier theory exam occurs over 4 days with one day gap between two theory exam within approximately 15 days entire exam will be done your certificates if you are passed if you are joining let us take on a particular date september 21 if it is the date after 3 years on the september 21 you are done you are passed out exam will be easy whereas dnb you might face some kind of friction at the third year this is one disadvantage but it can be managed okay if you are good at the subject yes you might face the friction but it can be managed and the second disadvantage might be the corporate kind of working culture a student or a doctor who have did md from a government institute he will be more comfortable to work in a place like a government hospital or where a free environment for the intervention that kind of culture if you are already oriented getting adapted to dnb hospital kind of environment might take bit time but there are few government hospital itself which is providing dnb nephro in that places yes of course you can take for example even in delhi ramanur logyo hospital dnb endocrine is there there is a government hospital dnb endocrine is there so in suppose if dnb is already there in the government hospital itself yes you might not handle this problem suppose if it is a corporate culture you might face this third one institute selection not all dnb centers are as good as the few i mentioned in the example even if you take last year or last to last year last 5 year that seat allotment after the counseling you always see there are some premium institutes like ilbs rndr hospital even uh, gangaram chennai apollo these are the premier institutes where the department is already well functioning more interventions are occurring permacath fistula consultants are good you will get a good amount of exposure thesis there might be a proper guidance and as you speak with your seniors in the particular institute in the recent years you will get to know how much is the workload and these are independently functioning institutes where you might not face any kind of difficulty in knowing the subject also in intervention also and you will get a good amount of exposure being in delhi chennai kolkata mumbai you will get lot of conferences these are few advantages but the disadvantages there are many places which provide dnb dnb super specialty but the department might not be running well the number of patients might be less transplant program might not be occurring they might not do any permacath they might not do any pd for name shake one or two consultant might be there still they might recruit dnb super specialty students and there are actual situation which happened two years back the student joined dnb ss in a remote place not in delhi the hospital name i don't want to mention where he was posted in some other department like general medicine to work for 3 months followed by casualty 
so he got frustrated and left that dnbss so these kind of information you will get only if you speak with the immediate seniors who are working there or you can go and visit then decide if you have no much idea randomly don't put in a, any random places or hospital unless you are aware of premier institutes for a particular state will always be there like as an example i told for delhi i have told to three four institutes chennai apollo kolkata in ahmedabad these important places are there you go through the last year or last to last year seat matrix allotment once you go through the rankers how the rankers took you will come to know which are all the premier institutes okay and if a institute is good we will conclude it with the summary if the institute is good or the hospital which is providing dr and b is good where transplant is ongoing where intervention is there and you already spoke with your seniors don't be in doubt dm is in par with dnbss don't have any doubt you can take and post this you might not have much difference with respect to practice here i want to mention one advantage for dm candidates post dm immediately after your exam if you want dnb dnb ss drnb you can give the exam and get the degree so this is one advantage for dm he can get the degree but this is just a add on advantage most of the uh, students might not all if already dm is there they might not apply if interested can be obtained so as per your rank weight between the advantage and disadvantage <coughs> which you can which is suitable for you for your personal preference you can select i hope you got a good uh, slight idea about dmb and uh, dm nephro related info bye bye we will see in the next video